and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Darn right we are. After today, we're going to talk about after carpal tunnel surgery, best exercise exercises to restore maximal function, strength, and pain. Bob, this is for my wife who just had surgery and my good buddy Bruce also had surgery within the same week. I did research on this. This is the best comprehensive YouTube carpal tunnel surgery is. There it is. I had to. In I mean, your opinion. In, in my opinion, of yeah. course. But yeah. Anyways. Well, yeah. When you're doing it for a spouse and a buddy, you want to make sure that it's comprehensive. Absolutely. Because so. I want things to go good at home. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away, well, it's your selection of books. So it, it, we're showing a couple of the books here, but you're going to be talking about these in the video. Yep, yep. But you can go to Lotus Publishing. There you go. And you can see the list of books they have. They have some really neat books. Right. So um, more kind of medically related. Yeah, to that, that help you out. Yeah, help you out. Go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. The contest. Go to Twitter, Instagram, TikTok if you want a six-second version of our program. And we have what, Brad? Podcast, Podcast is out there now. Yep. All right, so uh, here we go. What we want to do is have Sam give us a little hand in showing sure. a little bit of anatomy. Give us a hand, huh? There, there you go. Is. Now, this is a little model that uh, Bob and I have contrived. I'll get that. There there you get go. that. Yeah. Yep. So you. So what we have here is in the carpal tunnel, which is right here formed. Yep. There you go. Oh. We take off all the skin and all the right tissue. Right between the two meaty parts yep. so of, of the hand. And in that tunnel, you have nine tendons and a median nerve. So a lot of structures are going through. Right. And it needs uh, you know, a fair amount of space, and sometimes that space gets compromised. Yep. Right? What happens is there's a uh, the carpal ligament goes over this and uh, with those tendons. And now when you move your fingers like this, those tendons actually slide up and down in that carpal space. And if it gets tight from where, for whatever reason, the nerve gets pinched, pain, numbness, tingling, all those symptoms you've already familiar with. And what happens is the surgeon comes in there with a pair of scissors like this, and he cuts that retinaculum or that ligament and opens up that space and all of a sudden yay the nerve is not pinched no more pain numbness tingling life is much better for your so hand they actually use the scissors well <laughs> it might be a little more uh, uh maybe more a uh, scalpel probably uh, yeah actually they, they do it with a little uh scope too they? there's two different procedures i'm not going to get into it however your surgeon does it i'm sure he or she is doing I'm an sure excellent it's not job. very evasive because 20 it, minutes is all my wife wow she went in there eighteen thousand dollars Wow. Well, that was a retail price. I don't, <laughs> our insurance covered a lot of we it. We saw, I, I mean, I saw this surgery being done, yeah. and I, they did it on someone who was getting a hip replacement. They went and did it, oh, this surgery real quick. Too. Probably threw that in for nothing. Yep. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways. I want to get two free. What I really want to talk free. about here is when we have nine tendons and your median nerve, and we get rid of the uh, ligament or open it up. Retinaculum. Retinaculum. What, what happens is scar tissue, your body wants to heal. So scar tissue is going to form over that. And if you didn't move your fingers, your hand or wrist and kept it still for a couple of weeks, you're going to have a tight wrist. Things are going to be snug. It's probably going to be painful and not functional. I had a patient that did that. She's Kept her sure. hands still, and we broke through everything, but it was a lot more work than if you start. Right, start from the get-go. Start doing the exercises very quickly. So, again, these tendons, which is represented by the green uh, ropes here, yep. um, they all attach to fingers, yep. and they make the fingers move, and so they go right through like a pulley system almost. It's exactly really, right. It's uh, very mechanical. That's why I guess I can understand relate and re to it. Relate yeah. to it. There's one tendon that goes up into the thumb that does this, so we'll show sure. you that exercise size too all right you won't ignore anybody there you go so this will be helpful i think so you can relate to uh the rest of the video sam you're done you're retired for the yeah, day you're out of here um i'll get sam are oh, you gonna get uh, sam i got him right over here 
Okay, now the next thing, so right after surgery, unless your surgeon give, tell, tells you otherwise, but typically they'll say, you know, go on, you can start moving your fingers uh, and get moving. You'll have a bandage, or not bandage, but wrap around there. And typically allows motion. So you can start these exercises right away. Sure. As long as it's not, if it creates any sharp pain, you know, wait. Give it a give it some time, but typically within the next day or two, you'll be doing these uh, without uh, much problem at all. So and now this is from the Mayo Clinic that you. Well, I've, they used to call it the six pack when I worked at the Mayo Clinic. It really uh, sounds like a, a Wisconsin a drinking game. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> but it's a, it's a second, you know, six, six exercises. exercises. So you start off, you can do it as tabletop, and then go up to the hook like this. Yeah. Yep, tabletop, hook. Tabletop hook. My buddy Bruce will relate to the six pack thing. Oh, there we go. Well, when we were younger, sure. I've known him since we we're in college. So well, you probably had a six pack done before breakfast. <laughs> so all right, now um, we're going to do it ten times. Yep. Each one. Yep. And if it starts increasing your pain, maybe back off and maybe do a few less exactly. the first time. Then we're going to do a full fist. Oh, we, we got to remember the thumb. Yeah, we'll do the thumb okay. too. Okay, I'm just jumping around. All right, good. Full fist. Not a tight fist, though. Just sure. a loose fist for now. That tight stuff will come later after it heals a little better. All right. Then we're going to do some flexion where you're just going like this. You're flexing the thumb across like this. You do that 10 times. Mm -hmm. But you also want to do some circumduction, we call it. So we're actually, the, the joint is rotating. Sure. It's a rotating joint. So you can go to each of the fingers if you want. You can go, you know, to each each finger and rotate towards it. Yep. And then? And then you've got full extension, which you were doing already with the thumb. But some people do this curl too, Brad. Sure. They don't curl all the way. They, you know, this is all the way. They just curl oh. the second knuckle there and yep. the first knuckle yep. there. You know, this may not be in the six pack routine, but I'm going to suggest. Oh yeah. Add a little yep. stretch to the full Absolutely. extension, particularly yep. if you if you're an active person and you do a lot of work and with you your can hands. Stretch the th are you doing the thumb later? Nope. Okay, you can yeah hook the thumb and bring it back a little bit, stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And you're going to do that as long as it's tolerated 10 times all that and do it two or three times a day. Uh, then once you go back in five to seven days, they'll take that off and look at things, make sure there's no infection on the incision. Uh, and then they'll schedule a time to get the stitches out. Sure. After the stitches are, you continue to do those exercises uh, as that time goes on. Bob, do you want to take a second to, sure. to get that nerve out of there? Sure. Um, there's going to be scar tissue uh, forming at the incision. Uh, and when, there's, when the uh, st stitches are stapled, st stitches are out, uh, what's going to happen is a doctor will say, now you can use water, soap and water on it. At that point, uh, as long as it's all sealed up, you can put your thumb on there right over that incision and push into the skin a little bit and make some circles. Or you can go right to left, forward and backwards. I like circles, and if it's painful, it's too early. Yeah, and you can gauge by, because you're applying the pressure, yep. you know what you can tolerate. Yep, so you're squeezing like this, making those circles, and what you're doing is you're breaking up the scar tissue uh, at the skin level and just under the skin. It makes uh, uh, it look better, and it's going to be more pliable quicker and uh, eliminates problems down the road. And the blood flow is going to increase, yep. and uh, you really want to go as deep as tolerated. So, if, I mean, if it doesn't hurt, go ahead and push harder yep. and see what, what it can tolerate. Yep. And you can see, you're going to push in fairly hard if it's not painful. It should feel kind of a good, you know, like, oh, it's, it's feeling good. My wife said exactly the same thing she said yeah that kind of feels good um and then i said go a little harder and then so our stitches are yeah so, yeah yeah we're, we're done with this phase did they talk about done. putting like vitamin e on her you like know that? she asked me about that and i said it looks so good i wasn't too concerned sure. about it but yeah you can ask the doctor or right ask your doctor if, now this can flatten out a scar too like if the sure. scar is trying to Trying to go over roll. Yeah, sometimes they're like a little ropey. And, yeah. And don't get too concerned because if you do this, it'll go away. Um, then the other thing you can do is just put pressure straight down and then open and close your fingers. Yeah, good one. And that gets, it's, it's kind of like some of yep. the other techniques McKenzie. that we use. Yep. So you're putting pressure right on the tendons. Yeah. And then, yeah, 
opening and yep. closing it, while the pressure's on there. Yeah. If you think about when you watch Sam there when we had that model, that's yeah. It. You're you're actually working on scar tissue a little bit that way yep, too. Exactly. Making sure everything is going to be very uh, efficient and. Uh, uh, doable after you get completely done. Now, the next thing is that nerve. Now, that nerve, uh, we need to stretch it, and it's a very special way. It's pretty simple, and I'm going to show you this. Um, you don't have to have a string like this. This is demonstrative. Uh, demonstrative. Demonstrative. <laughs> <laughs> so this represents the nerve going through that tunnel, and it actually comes up to the back of your neck, right about in this area. Now, you put your arm out like this, you got me, Liz? We're palm. trying to floss the nerve, basically. Right. Palm, palm up. Now, if I bring my head this way, that pulls the string, and the wrist goes up this way. Now, I'm going to take my wrist, I'm going to straighten it out, and that pulls the string and pulls my neck that way. So if you understand, the neck goes this way as the palm goes down. When the palm comes up, the head and neck go the opposite way, so it becomes a chain reaction. And if you look really closely, <laughs> can you zoom, zoom in on that? So you can see that string going back and forth right across there. And that's what's going on with that nerve in that carpal tunnel. It's making sure no scar tissue. Because if you get scar tissue on a nerve and it locks it down, it's not going to be fun. It's going to hurt you. Yeah, and, and it's going to be a problem. You have pain, and you're wondering why I had the surgery and it didn't get better. Right. But, you know, with that model, you can see that, oh, what's the fun? <laughs> get tape yet. If you go like this, that's stretching the nerve. If you go like this, that's stretching the nerve. So you don't want to do them at the same time like that. You want to go yep. up coordinated. Keep it together. Yeah, keep it together. Uh, so this is probably a couple of weeks after surgery by now. As things are going along again, it shall be feeling good. No sharp pain. No, and Do that 10 times? Yeah. yeah, 10 times, two, three times a day. And, you know, if you're not having any problems with, you know, I don't think you have to continue to do that right. long term. It just breaks it loose and you'll be fine. And so by this I'm going to show them with, without the rope on it. Okay, there. yep. Okay, so I'm going like this. I'm going like this. Yeah. Elbows like straight. This. Yep. And even back a little bit yep. sometimes. This way. All right. That's the way you're going to want to do it 10 times. If it makes the pain worse, stop. That's exactly right. Now, then it's time to get it stronger because after surgery, uh, you had that hand not moving very much, not doing much activity. Those muscles weaken up fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and you want to get strength back. We got some options here. I like to just... Uh, start out with a squishy ball like this. Sure. It's something that you can squish. And, you know, everything doesn't work together because in real life, you usually don't squeeze everything together. Sometimes you do with a pair of pliers. And I know Bruce works in the shop a lot. So, uh, but this is a good way to start. And it's working on individual fingers. Yeah. Basically. Get some mobility. Um, I like this one. This I, I got, I think at a dollar store. It's kind of fun. It lights up, so it's a little entertaining. And it's got these little spikes on it. That can actually kind of yeah. desensitize over that scar tissue. And it's squishy, and it's a little harder. So you're ready to go to the next phase. And you're just going to work on this, your thumb, your fingers. You know, for a minute or two, you'll feel fatigue, and then give it a rest. Do that two or three times a day. Um, and here, you know, here's another, this ball is actually even more firm. So as you get stronger, you go to a firmer ball and you might say, what about those grippy things, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got some grippy things right here. Y you can do this as well. These are adjustable at the they spring. Are adjustable. These are yeah. really nice. Are we going to have these in the link below? Yeah. Well, well I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just found these. We we're going to do something. And they have a counter on them as well. Did you yep. see that? Yes, I did. So it counts for you. You don't have to count. Uh, you know, you might get to 15 and be fatigued, and then a week later, you might find you get to 35, and you don't even have to do the effort so of counting. You can set resistance between 10 pounds and 130 pounds. Wow. So. Yeah, they're, they're deluxe. That's a nice, yeah, the, what are they at? KDG, hand grip strength. Yeah. Is. Yeah, they're a good deal. I ordered them. They, they you were, did? Yeah. They, Where'd you find they them? They ranked well. It's just on Amazon. Oh, so Excellent job. Uh, this is the deluxe. Uh, grip strength. You do not have to go to this level right. if you That's don't want. That's going to be if you really want to build up your forearms too. Yep, forearms, your... and it re you'll see why it really uh, does well with the range of motion too. Uh, you could, you can do this with a. We don't have a dumbbell around here, do we? Uh, this works better than a dumbbell. But you go like yeah. this, and these are stretchy bands. You put them around your feet. You probably start off with only one band. Yep, 
you, you may go like this, you know, and you could only go, like Bob said, to one band, depending on... Right, how uh, strong you yeah, are. I'm going to start like this, and rest on your... The forearms foot. are supported by yeah. your thighs. Yep, just like this. And you can, if you imagine that carpal tunnel right there, imagine those tendons and that nerve going through there, we're stretching it out. And because those tendons go all the way to the tips of your fingers on four of them. And then you're going to go up and you get the wrist full flexion all the way down. And you do this 10 to 15 times. If you've got little uh, arthritic joints in your wrist and your fingers like I do, it's pretty, mine's pretty uh, not severe at all. But this definitely helps. It's going to keep me moving uh, as I approach that big six zero. Yeah, the so, stronger you keep the joints, yep. the less pain they'll have. Yep. And, uh, you know, by this time, you know, you're pretty active. You're back to doing most all sure. your activities. Unless well, it does that way. You can also go oh, extension. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, just Bob. Just show that real yeah. quick. And that, yeah, that is a. Because that's a big one part of grip. Yeah. Is you got to extend. When you grab something, your wrist extends naturally. Sure. So the stronger your extension is, usually the stronger your yeah. grip is. Yeah. You know, that, that one I kind of forget about. And it's a good thing. That you really? I, I think that's the most important one. Yeah. Uh, I don't because I like doing this. One. It feels so good, but yeah. I should do this one because then I have to change the loops and uh, you know, Bob. I there's only so much a guy can do. Yeah, I know there's only so much time in the day. <laughs> Look at it, people are all tuned out by now. They're getting right. bored. So, anyways, take care and good luck with those uh, wrists. Have fun.